TikTok star Bella Porch allegedly removed James Charles from her music video after his scandal, Kim Kardashian gets sued by her staff, and Kevin Spacey makes a shocking return to acting. That's right, folks, we've got ourselves a triple header news story for you all today. But first, if you could do us a big favor and please tap that like button, we would really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin. Okay, first things first, we have to talk about Kevin Spacey and his return to acting despite the multiple allegations of SA that surfaced in 2017. These allegations resulted in Spacey losing several jobs, including a starring role in the Netflix series House of Cards. However, now, according to Variety Magazine, he is set to appear in Nero's upcoming low-budget indie film, Luomo Che the Segno Dio. Yeah, and I apologize to our Italian viewers if I butchered that, but for anyone else that's interested, that translates to The Man Who Drew God. The producer also told Variety that Kevin would be acting in a small role as a police detective. The film itself is about the rise and fall of a blind artist who has the extraordinary gift of making true-to-life portraits just by listening to their voice. Now, with this news of an upcoming movie role, it sort of confirms that he has been, well, hiding out in Italy. If you recall, back in August of 2019, he gave his first public performance in nearly two years in Rome. He read a poem about a boxer lamenting about the loss of a once great career. This public appearance came less than three weeks after a U.S. prosecutor dropped a criminal case against him relating to charges of a and battery. In addition to that, the London Metropolitan Police have been investigating him on six other allegations of SA that happened in the UK between 1996 and 2013. The ridiculous thing with Kevin Spacey is that he almost is outright mocking the allegations being made against him with these new roles. I mean, really think about it. A boxer lamenting the loss of a great career. That's him wallowing in self-pity. And in this new movie, he plays a cop investigating a man who is wrongfully accused of SA on ch Oddly enough, it was Kevin Spacey who was accused of misconduct in 2017 when actor Anthony Rapp alleged that Spacey had made non-consensual advances on him when he was only f***ing years old. So yeah, it's gotta be a little weird for his f***ings to be seeing this, and in addition to that, when the producer, Louis Nero, was asked about Spacey's allegations, he said that he believed that they were false. Now in other news, Kim Kardashian is finding herself in some hot water after her staff sued the star for failing to pay wages, provide meal breaks, and cover expenses. More specifically, it was her maintenance and cleaning workers that started this lawsuit. These workers say that they were hired by Kim to work at her $60 million home in Hidden Hills, California. These former employees are claiming that they lost out on full-time employee benefits, they were not given pay stubs, and Kim Kardashian failed to pay them on a regular schedule. According to legal documents obtained by TMZ, these seven staff members also failed to receive any meal or rest breaks during their time working at the mansion. On the flip side of things though, Kim Kardashian is pushing all responsibility onto a third-party vendor that she hired to take care of her cleaning and maintenance. Therefore, she is arguing that any issues should be taken up with them, rather than her. A representative for Kim told TMZ that she is not responsible for how the vendor manages their business and the agreements they have made directly with their staff, adding, Kim has never not paid a vendor for their services and hopes that the issues between these workers and the vendor who hired them can be amicably resolved soon. This representative also focused on claims coming from one employee in particular. There was a person in the lawsuit who claimed that he was fired after he had inquired about his rights and those of his son, who apparently is said to have worked more than the maximum hours allowed for a under California labor law when he was 16 years old. Again, though, her representative continued to distance Kim from taking any responsibility for this. Now, in our last bit of news, we have to talk about the speculation surrounding James Charles being taken out of Bella Porch's new music video. Normally, when you're filming a project as big as a music video, you usually do it months in advance of the release so that you have time to edit the thing and make sure that it looks perfect. Although, after James Charles faced a huge wave of backlash for allegations of sexing people, I think Bella sent her editing team back to the drawing board. This speculation really took off when a user posted a behind the scenes clip from the set of Bella's video where you can see James all dressed up in a costume along with several other guest stars. However, when the final version was released, the internet went crazy because the editing team just plastered smoke all over top of where James was. You just see someone who bears a slight resemblance to James Charles and only for a brief moment, although every other influencer that made a guest appearance in the video gets a lot of FaceTime. So who knows how much they had to cut where James could not be covered up. Although if there's one takeaway from this, it's that at least all of these influencers are now trying to distance themselves from James Charles, even in previous work we're seeing. With that though, let's check out some of your comments from the video titled Top 10 Annoying Rules Royal Children Must Follow. Killjoy since 20 2017 says, damn, Harry has a long name. No wonder he just goes by Prince Harry. I mean, it's also pretty cool to have Prince as the lead of your name. Not like Mr., you know? Pr I'm Prince Harry. Oscar says, here in Mexico, we open our Christmas gifts at midnight on Christmas Day. Hmm, interesting. I was always allowed to open at least one Christmas gift on Christmas Eve, and then we opened everything else on Christmas Day together as family. But that was just us. Oh, let us know down in the comments how you guys spend Christmas. Lunkus says, thanks, Johnny, for making the videos awesome. You're welcome, Lunkus. It's my job. 
and I love it. Just on Bigfoot with internet access says, I didn't have to follow any rules in the woods. Nor should you. Nor should you, sir. Lucky Buck Minister Fullerene says, you have a perfect pirate name. Why, well, thank you. I don't know what to do with that, but uh, if it comes to use, I will thank you somewhere. I guess in an award speech? I don't know. But for now, guys, that has been today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, YouTube. <clears throat> Hello. How are you? Whomever is editing, editing this. <laughs> I hope you're well. <laughs> do 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 do